The Independent National Electric Commission in the state has now obtained non-sensible electoral materials for the November 16, 2024 governorship election. Resident Electoral Commissioner Uluwa Toyin Balola assured residents that uh, their vote uh, would count. The workshop aimed to enhance line task capacity and curb misinformation ahead of the off cycle election. Ability to communicate uh, properly, timely and uh, transparently with uh, the public from our work on elections, particularly since uh, 2023, we've discovered that uh, there are elements of a uh, mistrust on the part of the people of uh, the election management body, which is uh, INEC. And we believe that if they engage the electorate very well, then they may be able to regain you know, their trust. And trust matters because where there is no trust, no matter what they do, the perception will be there that uh, they are not doing it uh, you know, very well. So the major reason why we're having this is we don't want a situation where after the elections we'll come back to square one, uh, people will be complaining, uh, people will say that uh, they were not well you know, informed. So we're just trying to do our best to ensure that uh, the elections in November in the state uh, will be better than the previous ones. We expect them to conduct themselves peacefully, avoid any form of violence, turn out en masse on election day, reduce the level of voter apathy, because on our side, we will, divide, we will deliver on free, fair, credible, transparent, and inclusive election that will meet the aspiration of an average citizen, of, of citizens of Undo State. And um, we also want them to know that the agencies responsible for checking on this menace have already taken adequate steps towards arrest and checkmating any form of vote buying in the state. So a word is enough for the wise. Do not sell and do not buy. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.